everyone this is a math guru in this video i'm going to show you how to solve the following hitherto puzzle we have to fill the board with consecutive numbers from 1 to 37 so that consecutive numbers connect for example 2 must be next to both 1 and 3. i'm going to explain that quickly so if i have 2 the number before 2 is 1 and the number after 2 is 3. i can put a 4 or a 5 around 2 because they are not consecutive numbers. So therefore, in no particular order, I'm going to start with what I consider the easiest hexagon to work with, and that will be the one circled. Using 9 as my reference point, you can see that I already have 10 next to 9. And if I write 9, as shown, the number before 9 is 8, and the number after 9 is 10. And because I've been able to use 10, I'm left with 8. And if you look at that set of boxes, I'm only left with 8, which is going to make 8, 9, 10 a set of consecutive numbers. So what that means is I can only fill this box next to 9, which is the only empty box with the number 8. Moving to the next box, I have, I'm going to use 27 as my reference point. The boxes around 27 are the ones I lighted, or the hexagons around 27, rather. You can see that I already have 28 beside 27. So if I write 27, I already have the next number, which is 28. The number before 27 is 26, and because I have just one empty box left what that means is i'm going to fill that empty box with the number 26. as mentioned earlier note that you have to fill the box with consecutive numbers from 1 to 37 so that consecutive numbers connect the next box to fill i can see that i have one more box left or space left around eight and because I already have 9 next to 8, what that means is, if I have 8, I have 9. The number before 8 is 7. So therefore, the missing hexagon will have the number 7, as shown. Moving to my left, I'm going to use 11 as my focus now. So therefore, the space is around 11. We have 1, 6, 7, 8, and 10. If I write the number 11, which is in the middle, the numbers before 11, that's 10, and the number after 11 is 12. And you can see that I've been able to fill 10 around 11. I have just one more space left, which means I can only fill that space with the number 12. And if I move further to the left, if I have 12, I'm going to use 12 as my reference point. The box spaces around 12 are 10, 11, and 1. I've been able to, let me write 12 down. The number after 12 is 13. The number before 12 is 11. I've been able to fill 11 around 12. And because I have one more space left, that space will be filled with the number 13 as shown. Moving on. I will use 13 as my reference point. The spaces around 13 are the ones I lighted. If I write the number 13, the number after 13 is 14 and the number before 13 is 12. I've been able to fill the number 12 as shown. That means the last space can only be occupied by the number 14. Now using one, as my reference point, I'm going to alight all the spaces around one. Not that. In that space, I have the number before one is zero, but we've been told that we are filling numbers from one to 37. So that means I need the number after one, which is two. So the empty space there will be filled with the number two, as shown. I'm going to keep to the left for now since I can easily fill up the spaces on my left hand side. Using 14 as a reference number, those are the boxes or the spaces around 14. 
And if I write the number 14, the number before 14 is 13. The number after 14 is 15. I've been able to fill one of the boxes with 13. So the next number will be 15 to make that consecutive. So the empty space will be filled with 15. If I go further and I highlight the spaces around 15, if I write the number 15, the number after is 16, the number before is 14, I've been able to fill one of the boxes with 14. So the last free space will be filled with the number 16 as shown. And then moving ahead, using 16 now as my reference point, I have all the spaces around 16 filled. If I write the number 16, the number after 17, the number before 15, I've been able to fill 15. Then the next available space will be filled with 17 as shown. Then using 17 again, I'll do the same thing. Those are the spaces around 17. The number 17, the number before 16, and the number after 18. I've been able to fill in 16, the last empty space around 17 will only be filled with or can only be filled with the number 18 as shown. Now looking at another reference point, I will use 3 as my reference point. I've been able to highlight all the spaces around 3 and if I write the number 3, the number before 2, the number after 3 is 4. Looking at all the highlighted spaces, I've been able to fill in 2. I'm left with one more space, which will be filled with the number 4. If I use 6 now as my reference point, if I write the number 6, the number before is 5, the number after is 7. If I look at all the highlighted spaces i've been able to fill in seven then i'm left with the number five to fill up the last spot as should i go ahead to pick 19 as my reference point the numbers or the spaces around 19 i highlighted as shown and if i write the number 19 the number after is 20 the number before is 18 18 is one of the numbers that has been filled and because I'm left with one empty box I'm going to fill that with the number 20 20 as shown and then moving ahead I would use 37 as my reference point and if I look at the spaces around 37 note that I'm only filling the board with numbers from 1 to 37 so I'm not going to consider the number 38 but the number before 37 is 36 and because I have just one more space around 37 this will be filled with the number 36 as shown if i move ahead and i pick now in order to determine how to pick my next reference point i'm going to do two things one if i look at the number 36 and i highlight all the boxes around 36 i know that if i have 36 the number after 36 is 37 and the number before 36 is 35 so that means i have the option of filling the two empty spaces left with 35 however in order to determine which one to fill i will go to the number 34 if i alight the spaces around the number 34 and i write the number 34 the number after 34 is 35 the number before is 33 and because I have two spaces left to fill, you can see that 36 and 34, in order to make that consecutive, I have a common number, which is 35, between them. So what that means is, the space between 36 and 34, I'm going to fill that with 35, so that they can both share the number 35. And because I've been able to do that, what that means is, if I alight the spaces around 34, I'm left with the number 33, which will fill up the last 
or the only empty space around the number 33. If I look at the number 33, I've been able to fill up all the consecutive numbers, that's 32 and 34, which means that the empty space does not matter to 33. Then I move ahead. Using 21 as my reference point, I have two spaces left around 21. If I write the number 21, I have 22 and 20. Before that, I've been able to fill in 20. I'm left with 22. However, in order to determine which of the spaces to slot in my 22, I'm going to consider the other numbers around. If I look at 32, that has been sorted because I already have 31 and 33 around that. If I look at the number 35, that has been sorted because I have 36 and 34 beside that. So what that means is I have this empty spot which is only related to my 21. So therefore, I'm going to fill that spot with the number 22. And if I look at or pick the number 22 as my reference point and I look at the spaces around it writing the number 22 I have 21 before that and 23 I've been able to fill in 21 I'm left with 23 so the last space will be filled with 23 and using 23 as a next reference point if I have 23 the number after 24 the number before 22 22 has been filled so that means the last space there will only be filled or can only be filled with the number 24 and then using 24 as my reference point again i have the number 24 as shown the number after 25 the number before 23 23 has been filled I'm left with 25, which will go in the last empty space around 24, as shown. Then, if I look at the number 25, as shown, I have the number after 25, that's 26, the number before 24, so 25 has been sorted. Then I will go to 28, as shown. If I write the number 28, the number before 27, the number after 29. 27 has been fitted in, so I'm left with the number 29, which will go into the last space beside 28. And my last but not the least space, if I look at the number 29, I'm going to highlight the spaces around 29. If I write 29, the number after 30, the number before 28, 28 has been filled, so therefore I'm left with the number 30. So therefore, I've been able to fill the board with consecutive numbers from 1 to 37, so that consecutive numbers connect. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for solutions to more math puzzle. Thanks for watching. Bye.